Okay, guys, we're back to our Dolby Atmos theater. Just got done pre-wiring this thing. And uh, just wanted to really quick run through with you what I've done. We ran a 1.5 inch conduit from the uh, equipment there underneath the screen. You can see the orange tube come up here to the projector. That's where our projector mounts on the ceiling. The builder added some blocking for me to hang the projector. And then I've got a, uh, a combination outlet back here. It's the low voltage and high voltage together. I like these, it's a really nice clean look and the outlets are recessed. So uh, we also put those behind most of our flat screen TVs. In the back of the room, we've got our rear speakers. On the right, you've got your uh, so, uh, right uh, surround back and then also your right surround. On the other side are matching. Again, surround back and surround. And then in the ceiling, we've got our Dolby Atmos height speakers, our front heights. Gonna go uh, there directly in front of that light can. Same thing on the other side. And what we end up doing is cutting it directly in line with the light can. So it'll be a nice clean look. It's a round speaker and matches the lights perfectly. In the front again, we're gonna do a 110 inch acoustic screen. You can see the conduits coming from the projector. Everything is gonna mount back here on the platform. So a uh, subwoofer gets plugged in there. That's my wiring for my front speakers. So you're gonna have uh, Klipsch front speakers. Well, all the speakers are Klipsch, but um, R8000 fronts, uh, tower speakers, so left and right, uh, subwoofer in the middle, and then center speaker above that. So it'll all be behind the acoustic screen. If we ever need to get to it, we just remove the screen from the wall. This is where the equipment goes, down below here. A Couple of boxes just to kind of squeeze everything in. So you can see my box on the left is where my conduit ends. Uh, there's going to be uh, uh, two pass-through plates here. So what that means, it's just a hole basically where the wire passes through. We don't make any junctions here. The less junctions, the better. So I don't terminate and uh, put connectors on the end of these cables. They will come out of the wall plates directly to the receiver. It's just one less problem to have. It'll still look nice and neat. It'll be two, uh, two hood uh, wall plates. Uh, again, that's just a wall plate with a hole in it. Electrical's down there as well. We've got a dedicated outlet just for us. A nice clean power. Over here is where uh, internet and stuff is gonna come from. So I did run some cat and coax over to this area. And uh, our modem and router is gonna move to this location. And then we're gonna do an Eero mesh network for Wi-Fi through the rest of the house. So that is how we pre-wire our Dolby Atmos theater. You guys have any questions or uh, comments, please feel free to leave those down below. And I'll see, it, uh, I'll see you guys when we finish this all out. Have a good day.